Have you been suffering from this problem? Let me show you some of the tips and tricks that I've learned to try to solve this problem. You know what? Make your endo so much smoother. Okay, so you've got your gold crown and it looks something like this. And this, a couple of these techniques work really well with this. And the first one I'm gonna show you is a really simple one. You don't have to have any extra tools, but you kind of have, have to have a decent enough access. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place our rubber stop and we normally measure our working length from the bottom of the rubber stop. Now, what you can do is you can actually hide the rubber stop in the internal aspect of that, of the access and measure from the top part of it. So that's a simple technique that if you you don't have to have any special tools, just to actually need a file and a root canal and a tooth to root canal. And there you go. So you can do, take your working length from the top of that and place your file to length. So we'll see if it goes there. I'm going to place my rubber stop lower. I'm going to take my measurement there. And then on my measurement tool, instead of measuring from the bottom of the rubber stop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the top. So that's one way. And what that does is it helps the file to stay centered and not touch the metal. Because we all know we get that crazy sporadic measurement when we touch metal, a gold crown, or a large restoration. Now, the second one is another technique, and it's a little more difficult, is just kind of keep the file centered. And then once you get your length, it doesn't matter if it touches, and then you place your file there. So you get your working length with your apex locator, place your file, and place your apex locator clip on there. Keep the file centered as close as possible. And then once you are happy with your length, then you can pull it over to your reference point and then measure from there. So there's a couple things. You don't need anything special. And if you've got a special foramatron, you might want to try that or actually get a new one. Let me know if you've tried one of those. I actually, a buddy gave that to me about 10 years ago. I still haven't used it. So a couple other techniques work with using little insulating materials, clipping tips. So essentially, here's one here. I've clipped the end off. And what it does, essentially, it's going to place like an insulator. So we place our file in the canal and then this works like in the live video i have right now that was on one of our root canal courses and essentially you can use any type of insulating material place your rubber stop to your working length so we'll place this in here we'll pretend that we're at working length and then voila we're good to go so there's a couple of different different tips you can use you can use if you're using a sort of a bioceramic bc sealer you can cut the tip off don't use it close we've tried that it's pretty small you kind of have to use it a little bit further up and you don't need a big chunk of it. You only need something like about three or four millimeters. Another insulating technique you'll see online is using ProLube, that's standard. Uh, I don't use ProLube though, but you can use another piece of it. So we'll take a couple millimeter piece. We'll place it on there. We'll slide that on there. And again, so the beauty is that, so the, the, the idea is that the, the little rubber piece can't be too long, but it needs to be long enough to insulate because what'll happen is that if you go too long, you won't be able to get your file down into your orifice. If you're placing posts, you have these little mixing tips. So I found these floating around and I figured let's give it a shot. So sure enough, let's cut a little piece. And it worked just dandy. That's a beautiful word. Look at that. Booyah. Another thing that I tried is using Teflon. I took a couple pieces here. So I just took a piece of Teflon, Palmer's tape, and you can sterilize it. Essentially, all I did was I rolled it around the part of the file. And you kind of got to do this in preparation. You could sterilize the plumber's tape beforehand. And then, so I'm just going to roll it around like that. And you don't want it too long. There we go like that. We can slide that up a bit. And there. So you can sterilize it before, you can sterilize it the, with the file on there. You kind of have to be in preparation beforehand, but uh, let's take a look in this premolar. Let's pretend that's a crown there and boom, we're in. So that's another technique you can do just using plumber's tape. So the key to great endo is irrigation, like lots and lots of irrigation. And the key to reproducible working lengths is to not have a lot of irrigant in the pulp chamber and even less in the canal. So one of the tips that I do before I go to get my apex locator reading is to use the syringe just to suction out. So I pull back on this, the plunger to suction out most of the irrigant out of the pulp chamber, but also the orifices in the canals. A couple other things, just if you're hanging on to the end of the video, I got a couple other things to show you. I'm not sure if you've used these. These are called orifice openers, my, or micro openers, orifice openers. There's a set of three, they're really helpful. 
Um, they're essentially stainless steel with a file. Essentially, it's a file on the end of a stick. And the beauty is that if you're looking for a canal or an orifice, if you're looking for an orifice, the beauty is that you don't have a big file handle in the way. So like here, if we're trying to pick around and look, this is in the way, so is our mitt. But if you have these, you see it's nice and clean. Same as this, if you don't have these, I've found these floating around. These are called the endo handle. And you can take just a regular root canal file. I'm not gonna use the fancy word of endodontic file. Oh, let's put it right there. So it just essentially slides in. And then let's take that off of there. And then what you can do is bend it. So again, it gives, it kind of, it just gets rid of your finger out of the way. So let me know if you use these. I've never used them uh, in practice. So uh, I'm just showing them just so you can get a, an idea of some of the little neat gadgets out there. Anyways, that's all I got. So thanks a lot for hanging on to this point and we'll talk to you soon. Cheers.